Hello everyone and welcome back to Anon Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B team. And I've had a little chest here because our storage is getting pretty, pretty insane. Pretty out of control actually. If you look around, there's just like chests and chests full of stuff. The um, the skeleton drop chest is actually getting ridiculously full. Look at this. Flipping heck. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost nine stacks of bones from these skeletons. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of work in this room kind of next to the skeleton spawner. So it has been doing really well quite recently. Uh, I have got a torch in there, so that might be uh, slowing it down just a little bit. But uh, it's doing really well. We're getting a lot of stuff from that. And I've been working on the Enderman spawner. So, at the end of last episode, we made this safari net, which I actually have an Enderman in. Uh, I managed to capture an Enderman. It's at full health, full 40 health. And uh, that's all good. I've moved these cables back. Like I said, I was going to do the um, the fluid ducts and the item ducts are both behind these. Um, these are just dirt covers, you can see at the top, the uh, not enough items things telling us these are just dirt covers. Uh, I've made another grinder, this thing's here ready to kill the Endermen that spawn. I did have a little practice with this in uh, another single player world, and the Endermen do tend to just sort of like spawn away quite quickly, some of them do anyway. Um, I think it's going to work, I think we are going to get quite a few Ender Pearls, but I think we're also going to have like a, just a ton of Endermen on the um, above land as well, depending on how much more essence we can keep in this thing. So, um, someone did point out in the comments, however, that we do need uh, a reusable safari net in order to get this thing to work. For example, if I go try and put this in here right now, it doesn't work. I can't put it in. And that is because, this is just really loud, let me just turn this down. That is because we need a reusable safari net. Now, this thing, kind of expensive. It takes a gas tier and four ender pearls. But because we've got this super awesome bat morph mode, we've got a couple of ender, uh, not ender pearls. We've got a couple of gas tiers already. Now, where did I put them? They're in here. And uh, between this episode and the last, I have got myself four ender pearls. So we should be able to make ourselves a re uh, reusable safari net. Cool stuff. So now my plan is to very quickly try and release this enderman and then grab him back up again. Now, I have a feeling when I was testing this out, I think the endermen are more likely to teleport away if it's light. If it's like really light in the room, they're more likely to teleport away. So what I'm going to do is uh, brace yourself. I'm gonna really, actually, there's a grinder one in there. That's not the best idea. What's going to be the best way to do this? Uh, it's not light outside, is it? Oh, it's dark. Okay. Well, we could always just do this. Doesn't happen to be an enderman around, no? That would make it a lot easier. But no, there doesn't seem to be. Okay. Wish me luck. If he's outside, I could, I, I could probably see him when he teleports. If he does teleport away, so let's do that. Now let's grab him. There we go. Beautiful. So now we've got him in this nice reusable safari net. And now, whenever we go down and try and avoid that spider into our little room, we should be able to set up ourselves a nice automated spawner. So I've got the um, the harvester this time. Oh god. I thought I said a mob then. Uh, we've got the harvester this time linked up to this chest. I've also been moving bows because the bows were really filling up this chest um, and blocking stuff from getting in. So I've moved most of them over here. This is also the direct output. You can see some cables coming from behind. This is where all the ender pearls are going to go, hopefully, if we get quite a few. So, let's give this a go, shall we? We've got mob essence coming down from the top here. I've just intersected this pipe here. So instead of going to that tank over there, it should now just come straight from the skeleton spawner up around and down into the auto spawner, which is pretty nice. So this thing should stay up. We do want to spawn exact copies. I don't know if that makes too much of a difference. Um, I, I didn't put any water in this one. I don't know if it's going to make too big of a difference because I know Endermen, um, Endermen get hurt by water. So like if Endermen are in water, they start taking damage. And I had a feeling that might cause them to teleport away. I'm not too sure. But um, hey, we'll find out. So if we throw this in here, it should. Every time this gets to a top... Oh, God. See, now this one's not in reach. But because it's not... Oh, God. Getting quite a few of them. It seems to be working. Look at that. Enderman are spawning. Stuff's going away. Let me just check the mob essence thing real quick. We are staying strong at full full mob essence. The energy doesn't seem to be quite enough at the minute. Oh, God. Don't want to get killed by Enderman. So I'm just going to... Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's good. Right, okay. Let's have a look in our chest. Have we got any enderpearls? Do we have any takers? It does take a little while to get over here because these are just normal item ducks. They're not super duper fast like our cool impulse ones we've got everywhere else. So they might take a little bit of time. But it does seem to be working for the most part. We've got ourselves a nice fully functioning enderman spawner. Oh, oh, that's not great. I would hope they don't take that stuff away too often. I'm just going to have a quick look in the overworld and see if we've got any like, wandering about outside now. Okay, so for the most part of the minute... Oh, we've got one there, but I think this is just the one that was angry at me earlier. Come on. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for your shenanigans. 
Is there a creeper floating there? There is. What the heck is that? I like the hat. It looks like half a slime. Where did that enderman go? Has he given up? I think it might have done. Okay, that's fair enough. I th so it looks like if they're not angry, they're not going to follow me about. But it looks like they're not actually going away either. I think when I was practicing on the test world, I think because I was doing it in like daytime, they were sort of teleporting away. Whereas in this nice dark room down here, they seem to just wander around a bit until they get killed by the grinder. So, I'm kind of happy with that. I think that guy just saw me, but that's fine. Hopefully they don't take too many blocks and we have to, um, actually I don't know, we just have to probably come check on it every so often and make sure that we uh, don't have that many blocks missing. They like taking these ones, don't they? Okay, let's have a look. Ender pearls? Okay, yeah, look at that. We've got two ender pearls. Three ender pearls. Maybe a fourth one? Maybe? Possibly? Now, um, one of the reasons, uh, there's a couple of reasons I've got um, an ender pearl system going up here. We've got another one here, actually, that's fairly cool. Um, one of the reasons I got I wanted an enderman spawner is the bunch of ender pearls, and the reason we want ender pearls is because they're used to quite a lot of high end things, like tesseracts. Tesseracts require ender pearls, and I want to get a nice unlimited source of lava from the Nether, so we can use that. Also, you can make these things called is it mass storage units or oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're from Mine Factory Reloaded again. Um, deep storage units, that's what they're called. So let's grab those guys. Deep storage unit. One of these here. So this thing is kind of hard to make. You need a tesseract. Oh wow, really? Really? You can make... Oh, okay, that's a new one. Um, I made these in Feed the Beast Monster, and in that there's only one recipe for it, but apparently you can use strong boxes and uh, a machine frame. But then you want to get one. With the test rack, you get four. So I might do this anyway, just because we've got a lot of wood, and we've got a lot of iron, gold, glass. We could probably do this one, but um, I thought we could only use this one. But what these do is each one of these will hold... It'll, hold, it'll only hold one item, so we can only put, like, wood in there, or stone, or just, just dirt. But um, what it does is it holds 2 million of one item, or up to 2 million, shall I say. So, for instance, we could use it here instead of these massive chests full of wood. Or we could use them over here instead of these massive chests full of flipping cobblestone or uh, raw rubber or anything like that. Because, or like redstone even, stuff like that. We've got a massive amount of things that we've just got, like, loads of that are filling up our chests. So look at this, 12 ender pearls. This is going great. Flipping heck. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, this seems to have stopped. Okay, see, now we're out of mob essence. And these guys are just tearing apart the room. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I think we had like a nice little backlog of mob essence there. And we might be getting some more soon. Hmm. I wonder if I go over here and turn this the other way around. I'd like to turn it to output. Is all that mob essence going to go back into this thing in here? Apparently so. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, what I might do again in between episodes is sort of just chill out in this hallway, um, go AFK for a little bit, let all these skeletons spawn, and so we get a bunch of mob essence, keep the mob essence going all the way over to the um, other stuff, and then hopefully when I get back, and hopefully for the next episode, we'll have an absolute shizwa ton of ender pearls. I mean, we're already doing quite well already, 13, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty nice. Okay, so deep story doing this. Let's have a look then. What I think I might do is actually, what I might do first is just make some tesseracts. So we're going to need some diamonds, some hardened glass, and some enderium ingots, which are enderium blend and pyrothium dust in a smelter. Now, pyrothium dust needs sulfur. Do we have any sulfur? I don't think we do, do we? Uh, do, 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 do. Look at these bows. These bows just fill up the chests. Ridiculous. I wonder if we can... See, I, d I, doubt, I doubt we can. I was going to say, I wonder if we could put these bows in like a deep storage unit, but I bet because they've all got a slightly different item ID because of slightly different damages, I bet we can't store them all together. It's going to be a pain. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure you get sulfur by pulverizing coal. Or at least that's one of the ways you can get sulfur. It's a little byproduct over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just have a quick double check of that, make sure I'm not wrong. Do, 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 do. Uh, pulverizing stuff. Really? I'm sure you get it from this. We're going to need some pulverized coal anyway, because pulverized coal is used in the pyrothium blend. Yeah, so we need uh, blaze rods as well. Ooh. Blaze powder, I'm pretty sure we can just use glowstone and redstone. Yeah, of course we can. Okay, so let's find ourselves. I'm pretty sure we've still got some glowstone hanging about somewhere. Of course we do. Let's throw some redstone into the magma crucible. And some glowstone into this thing. And that should give us a bunch of blaze powder. Here we go, we've got some sulfur. Pretty nice. How much sulfur are we going to need? If we want to make one tesseract... Um, I kind of want to make three tesseract frames. I want to make one so that we can make these um, deep storage units. Actually, why are these... Okay, yeah, I want to make one so we can make these deep storage units, and then I want to make two more so that we can get a nice limited source of lava from the nether. So, 
let's make three of these. So we're going to need 12 NWM ingots, 12 hiding glass, and four, uh, yeah, three diamonds, sorry. So 12 of these, we get two, okay, so we're going to need 12 of these and six pyrothium dust. So six pyrothium dust, we're going to need six sulfur, six, uh, oh no, we're not. We're going to need three of these, aren't we? Three pulverized coal, three sulfur, three redstone, and three blaze powder. So we shouldn't need that many, actually. We, I should probably stop making all of our gold into, uh, all of our glowstone into this stuff. <laughs> We've still got all these clay jars from last episode that we didn't really end up using. Uh, didn't get quite enough sulfur, so let's make a little bit more. We don't have tons of coal, actually, considering um, how much of it spawns about, and how good the spawns are on this uh, mod pack. We don't have that much stuff. So I probably need to go mining a little bit more between episodes. How is... Oh, my God. I really didn't think this through. I didn't think about the fact that they just steal blocks all the time. Oh my god, look at this. They're going to be escaping. <laughs> I think the endermen are three high though, three blocks high, so I don't think they're going to escape too easily. Look at this, 26 enderpearls. 27, should I say. Flippy neck. I'm liking it. I like it. Okay, there we go. I don't want to pulverize too much coal. There we go, good stuff. Alright, we've got all that stuff. So, redstone. I think we can make ourselves a nice amount of pyrothium dust right now. Let's grab this guy shift click and there we go we've got eight of those let's grab so in order to get the other guys we're going to need to um liquefy some ender pearls so let's say grab eight ender pearls and throw these guys in the magma crucible we are gonna have to empty this guy out as well so let's just take this thing for now and fill it with some uh, resonant ender we'll turn the top to an output like this. No, not having that. Uh, I'm sure we could do that. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, okay, let's... I'm just going to pick this thing up and put it back down because I'm really not bothered about the end, uh, the redstone that we've lost. Uh, how is that? That's fine. So this should be filling up with resident ender. It is good stuff. Let's get some buckets because we need a few buckets of this stuff. Uh, let's put one of those in. And I'm sure we've got some more buckets lined about somewhere. Do, do, do. Um, I'm sure we had a bunch of buckets. Maybe not. Maybe I'm lying. Okay, let's make some more buckets. Let's make two more. Should be enough. The buckets don't get used up, so we should be fine. Let's grab some of these guys. We're also going to need some pulverized shiny metal, actually. Do we have shiny metal? Yeah, of course we do. Okay. So, how much of this stuff are we going to need? We want 12 of these, and each one of these produces two. Okay, so we need 12 ender and blend, which means we need three lots of this. So th the three buckets we've got should be perfect. We're also going to need three pulverized shiny metal and nine pulverized tin. Okay, so pulverized tin. Doo -doo 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 -doo, where's our tin at? Uh, we'll take five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Let's pulverize that up, as well as the uh, three shiny metal, did we say we're going to need? Yeah, three shiny metal sounds about right. So let's get this stuff done. How is this doing? Uh, here we go, two and one more should be good. Do we have enough? Okay, uh, some more ender pearls are needed. I'm pretty sure that um, each ender pearl is t a quarter of a bucket, so we need uh, four ender pearls to get a full bucket, so that should be enough. But then I think we need a bucket's worth to actually fill up each tesseract, so we're going to need like another 12 ender pearls, but that should be fine. We've got quite a lot now. Let's throw them guys in there to go with apple rice tin, and then we should be getting ourselves pretty close. I'm pretty sure we've still got a bunch of plastic sheets lying around somewhere. We did make a load of those a couple of episodes back. Uh, do, 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 are they over in here? Yeah, look at this. We've got like just, we've got 70, 70 of those. Okay. Take that and that. And now we should be able to make ourselves a bunch of this Enderium blend uh, like this. That's four, eight. I wonder if this is shapeless. Oh, yeah, it's okay. There we go. 12. Right, so let's get to our induction smelter and mix some pyrothium dust with some endorium blend to get some nice endorium ingots. Alright, we're also going to need a bunch of these reinforced chests. Okay, so we're going to need a ton of tin. And when I say a ton, I don't mean that much actually. We're going to need four of these, which means we need four normal chests. So let's just grab a bunch of wood. Uh, do, 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 one, two, three, four. That should be fine. Wow, really? Really? Oh, you know, every time. I've got to put a door on this thing because these, uh, the, the downside to having a dark hallway, oh my god, is um, that. Okay, um, we'll just ignore that for now. Um, 
we'll call that under maintenance. And um, yeah, that's it's fine. It's fine. Our piping's a little bit broken, but that's fine. We can fix this. It's fine. Okay. Um, let's just quickly put. Uh, let's quickly make this into a crafting station. Throw this guy down, and like this, we'll make a couple more chests real quick. Try and get this fixed up ASAP. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Okay, where were we? We needed a bunch of chests. So let's grab this wood. Let's just make this. I'll just make all of this into planks. Why not? We need four chests. So one, two, three, four. There we go. We need to surround all of these with tin. Like this. To get us some uh, strong boxes. And they don't stack because they're just a pain. Three, four. There we go. And then do we surround them with uh, Invar next? I think it's Invar and then Hardened Glass. Yeah, okay. Now, oh, I'm not actually sure. I don't think we're going to have enough Hardened Glass. Actually, we've got a bunch in one of these chests. We've got 21, um, which is not going to be enough. We're just a little bit off. I don't think we have any Obsidian either. Uh, Invar, we've got 20. That should be enough. So, we get one, two, three four of those and then oh yeah we're gonna need 20 of this aren't we so we should be fine it's one two oh but we we'll be able to make oh no that's fine that's fine three and four and then if we grab some of these endorium ingots that we finished making with some spare pyrothium dust which is always nice and oh gosh we're probably gonna need some more hardened glass anyway because we're gonna need it for the tesseracts uh apples where are my apples i'm gonna die Apples are always good. Everyone knows apples. Well, I assume so. <laughs> right. Do, 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 do. Tesseract. Tesseract frame. Tesseract frame made. Okay, so now, do we have any in here? No, okay, so let's throw four enderpearls in there. Uh, they should be the equivalent of one bucket's worth, which should fill up the tesseract. And gosh, that storm is loud. Flipping heck. Okay, so we got that. That should fill up that nicely. And then, we should be good to go for our deep storage units. Which is pretty nice. This thing does take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Now, we are going to need more hardened glass because we want to make two more tesseracts. Now, we've got enough endorium ingots, which is good. We just need seven more hardened glass. So, one thing I'm going to do between this episode and next is go get a bunch of obsidian, make a bunch of hardened glass. And then next episode, I think I'm going to get my unlimited source of... I'm going to make the other tesseracts, get the unlimited source of lava, and then start on making an unlimited source of obsidian as well. Because obsidian is always really useful. But for now, let's just quickly whip this thing up, which we can't do because these guys don't stack because they're just a pin. Here we go. And then we'll grab the sheets like this. And we should be good to go. Look at that. Four deep storage units. Perfect. So now, if we say I wanted to replace this thing, and we're going to break this. Oh, no, we don't have to break this, do we? We can just uh, shift click because these strong boxes are just like the best things ever. So now, let's uh, just put one of these guys on here, like that. Uh, we can pick this one up. Let's put down this reinforced chest. And now, what I can do is I can just dump some of my stuff into one of these chests, like that. There we go. Uh, for those who are wondering, just uh, hold spacebar and right-click. It'll dump all your stuff into a chest. Or all your stuff that's not on your hotbar. And then, if we just did the same thing again, actually, let's put that back, order it, pull them out. And then, what we can do, the sad thing is that the spacebar thing doesn't work with this. But now we can store up to 2 million oak wood in this thing and it'll just hold it all. Pretty cool, right? So now we've gained ourselves a nice... Oh no, we can't use rubber wood. We've gained ourselves a nice spare reinforced chest or reinforced strong box because we don't have to use it up here anymore. And we'll get rid of this one as well, actually. Might as well do. So let's order it. Let's pull them out. Let's throw all these in here. And what we can do is instead of having two uh, reinforced strong boxes up here, we can just have this one deep storage unit. I'm pretty sure this um, item duct will be able to pull out of it still into the um, into this guy. I think it will. It should do. Possibly. Maybe. We'll find out. So that's all that stuff. We can also put one... Uh, I think I'll set up a few more, maybe like down here or something, or maybe over here to store all the other stuff. Like I think I might set one up for bones. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Bones and arrows? I might do. I might not. I don't think they're actually going to need one. I think they could probably do with fine with the chest. I think I'll definitely set one up for rubber. And then probably rubber wood as well, because they're definitely going to need one. 
And I might set one up for stuff like cobblestone. Actually, I might set one up for obsidian. Because next episode, when we get our unlimited obsidian um, generator going, we're going to get an absolute ton of obsidian. So, uh, yeah. I think we're going to call the episode there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.